With most modern cars today, you have disc brakes. Now, this is what your brake assembly looks like. Now, there's two main components to this. You have the brake rotor and the brake caliper. Now, the brake rotor actually spins with the tire as you're moving down the road, just like that. And then you have the brake caliper, which puts a clamping force onto the brake rotor, providing friction, thus stopping your wheels. There are brake pads inside of this brake caliper that actually push against the rotor to stop the rotor from spinning when you need to stop. Uh, I have the old brake rotor here that I've just taken off the car to change out. So you can see this moves just like this in a direction with your tire, uh, with your wheel. And then you have the brake pad, um, which we've also just changed out. Now that brake pad sits right up against the rotor and it's not actually touching the rotor when you're driving down the road, but when you apply brake pressure, that actually comes in contact with the rotor, applying friction, thus causing the rotor to stop spinning. Now that pressure that's being applied to the brake pads to apply that clamping force is done hydraulically. You have brake fluid that's actually coming from a brake master cylinder in the engine bay. When you actually press that brake pedal down, what that's doing is applying some more hydraulic pressure to the lines, thus applying that clamping force onto the brake pads. There are a few components on your braking system that will need frequent inspection and replacement. These are your brake rotors, your brake pads, the greasing components between the caliper, as well as your brake fluid. And there you have it. That is the basics of how your brakes work. Think ahead. Think advance. 